Hey guys, so I'm gonna try and smash this out before it starts raining. This is um, the fuel filter on a Volkswagen Touareg. This guy right here. Try and get the best uh, position. Finally got a little, uh, little mount thingy to hold the camera. Alright, so you just want to take all these bolts off here. Use one of these star, star ones there. It doesn't have the pin in the middle, some of them do. Put some, put some paper towel or some sort of absorbent mat around it because there will be diesel coming out of this and it's not nice having diesel and everything, especially if you get some firewall and things that will really soak it up and heat up. So you want to just sort of pull this out of the way and pull this up. So the filter will generally get stuck to this. Try to take that off, might get a little bit more paper towel just to sit that under. This shit's probably going to come out of it. Push that away for now. There we go. So this is the filter. It's probably good to have some sort of bucket to cash this in. So that is absolutely filthy. Um, I'm going to actually take the whole container out. Actually, I'll check it first. Let's see how the container looks. So there is a, there's a bit of sediment in the bottom there, so I think I will drain the container out, clean it properly. So if you haven't already lost yours, which most people do, a 10 size bolt just down here, just right down there, right there, there's one on that side and there's one on the other side. So you just take them off. And this is just the container. Shit. So you can probably remove this now, for now anyway. Just shove it to the side. We'll drop a little bit of these coming out of there, so I might try to shove some more of that out there. Shove some more of that out here just next to this little cutout. I'm just gonna take the container up with it so I definitely don't lose that bolt. So this is what mine looks like. It's got some diesel stuck in it. So this is um I just used a bit of paper paper towel. I'm not too worried about bits of paper getting stuck in there because obviously this is uh before the filter on the outside of the filter so even if a little bit did which it probably won't but this is how much crap I got out of it. So it's pretty pretty dirty. Probably gonna stick to those premium fuels, but um, that is it now. I might go over it one more time with basically clean. Oh no, it's raining. Shoot. And I'm gonna fill it up with my diesel tank under the caravan, because I don't have any other diesel anyway. And I'll probably put the filter in first and then fill it up so I know what level it's at. And uh, yeah, then I'll reinstall it. So this is the second piece of paper towel that I used just to do it again. I might use one more. Even though it looks clean, it apparently is not. So I'm going to keep going until they stop coming out dirty. And it is raining quite a bit. Well, enough to not want to get water. If you can see all the water on the car. If you enough to not want to get water on the uh, in this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until it stops before I try and walk across and close all that stuff up and fill it with diesel. See, I don't want any water in this, so yep. So it looks like it has stopped raining for now. So I'm gonna fill this up with diesel. I'm just gonna, so this is my little siphon thingy that I use. I'm just gonna trickle that down the side. Oh, that is perfect, look at that. Perfect. Now I just gotta get that back in the nose. So then you just put it back in, slot it back in, pretty much reverse the process. If you don't wanna like 
obviously there's not usually any magnetic sockets and this will be very easy just to lose in the engine bay just stick a magnet on the side and that'll hold it in there and then uh yeah put it in and reverse process i can't do this with one hand because i gotta move those pipes but yeah that's it it's uh easy done it's relatively easy you don't really have to worry about draining oil or anything so it's definitely not as hard as the oil filter but yeah definitely recommend just doing it yourself uh with these bolts just snug them it's like a little bit tighter than snug so you just like tighten it and then just yeah that extra little bit and then it's good and you want to do the same as you do a tire just a cross cross you know that sort of thing and then you're good to go thumbs up and one more thing you do have to prime the uh the fuel pump you can do this with if you have an obd 11 or that sort of thing but if you don't you just unlock your car open your driver's door and it's hard to hear right now but Oh, you can't. Uh, I can hear it, but I don't know if the camera can. You hear like a little, and that cuts out and turns off. Then just close it, lock it. I don't know. Give it a couple, couple minutes, and then you probably just want to do that a couple of times, just uh, to prime it, prime the fuel through, because it's probably lost a little bit in the process. If you're not going to drive your car, you're just going to go back and forth every now and then. That'll, that'll work fine. Maybe like three times, and then she should be right. That's it. Like, subscribe, all that biz. See you later.